are Sarah and Sinhyun. After last episode, we boarded a plane from Langkawi to Penang. Penang is an island off the west coast of Malaysia, known for its heritage buildings, street art, and maybe most of all, for being a food paradise. Thanks to your recommendations on our previous videos, we know this island will be a special place. So today, we're hitting the streets of Georgetown, the biggest city on the island, to get our first impressions of some of Georgetown's most delicious foods. Subscribe to follow along with our journey through Malaysia on our way to 23 countries. Let's go! I was just checked into our hotel. This is supposed to be a budget hotel. It was about $18 per night. It's not the biggest room that we've ever been in, but it's really clean and nice and cozy. You know, has all the things that you need. I think we'll enjoy our stay here. Good morning. Hi, everyone. It's a bit of a rainy one, but we're still excited to get out. The weather forecast expected a cloudy day, but I, I guess it's like a shower here. We're still gonna go and have fun. And definitely, we're gonna eat some street food. Let's go. So one of the convenient things about Penang we've noticed is in this like historic section with all of these older style buildings, they have these arched walkways so you can actually walk without an umbrella. However, a lot of times they're blocked by motorbikes and cars. It's pretty convenient, but it's definitely a little busy here even on a rainy day. We're at Penang with famous luck stop. This place is pretty famous. It's, it's early in the morning and it's kind of rainy, so there aren't that many people, so we got pretty lucky. Okay, so obviously it's a noodle dish, and I see there's like some kind of a ground fish paste condiments on the noodles. It's kind of red, a bit of a flakiness to it. He like put soup in it three, four times with a top layer of soup, which doesn't have any fish pieces in it. So that's how he got the noodles kind of wet, and then he put the broth deep down from the bottom, and then I scooped it up. And that's how we got the fishy pieces. Red onion slices. I think there's a little bit of pineapple. Some green. I think it is, yeah. Delicious, delicious fish paste on the top. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. So I read that an laksa comes from a tamarind base. And that's what kind of differentiates it from other laksa. such a good balance of sour mixed with the salty and the fishiness of the raw food. It's so good. Oh, Sinhan, there's a big piece of onion for you. That's what I get. We order Assam laksa and I just eat onions. <laughs> it was so good, we had to get one more. <laughs> So Assam Laksa, I think I really prefer because it just has a little bit of oceany flavor and the fish savoriness flavor. It goes really well with like noodles and the sourness. Mm. Ready to go? Here we go. So satisfying. All right, so we just made it to our next location. Now we are going to have some of Malaysia's most famous dessert. We're at the Penang Road Famous Chendol. It had amazing reviews and it's supposed to be the best chendol ever. Let's see. Let's go. Thank you. This is chendol. It's made of coconut milk, shaved ice in here, icy red bean, and of course, the iconic green noodles, so we're going to give it a taste. I think it's going to be the perfect dessert after that laksa. Mmm, you know what it tastes like? Bingsu. Really? <laughs> it also tastes a little like cereal milk. Oh, the ice is so refreshing. And then a little bit of chewiness from the green noodles. I see why this is the most popular dessert. Yeah, you have to try it. I see a lot of like red beans in it. I love red beans. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's actually the case, but I taste coffee though. Oh, it's so refreshing, so sweet. I could eat this all day. That was a great start for breakfast. So right now we're going to a market. It's called Tarasta Market. I just walked by in passing. 
And I don't think we'll be actually getting stuff from that market, but I thought it would be cool to like look around and see what has to offer. We're gonna check out some of the local fruits and vegetables. I think they have souvenirs and other things here. So let's check it out. I see lots of tasty sweet treats and fruit. So I noticed these fruit have like this thing, like bright color, it almost look like they're pickled in certain kind of like tone. To me, it almost looks like they're pan fruit. So I think there's more stuff down there in the uh, market. Let's go have a look. It's good we don't have an apartment anymore or I would take home all the plants with me. What do you think? So I noticed the market entrance had like more food and fruit. As you go deeper into the market, it's a lot about meat stands, vegetables. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Kwangdong Chijang in Seoul. Anything you could want for in one space. They had multiple floors. So much to see. I just saw some durian coffee <laughs> and I can't tell if I got excited or not. But I like durian, I like coffee, but I don't know if I like durian coffee. <gasps> see these biscuits everywhere. Every stall has fruit and then these little biscuits. I think we should get some. Thank you. So we got these pandan cakes. Um, I don't know what that is. We'll try. <laughs> she said it's pandan? Pandan. Pandan. Oh, it smells sweet and a little bit buttery. And I can see on the top, they must do some kind of egg wash. Because pandan is what she said. Mm. It's sweet. The outside is like a flaky crust. The pandan cakes are good, but they're a little bit dry. Definitely get this with some tea or some coffee, but we have water instead. Although we need to find coffee. We haven't had coffee yet. We're trying to find Sarah some coffee. Yeah, I was wondering why like, it's a little grumpy. It all makes sense. One of the most convenient things we've noticed, every place you look is another restaurant, another cafe to stop into, and it's still the morning, so this is only breakfast time. Um, yes. There's this bakery. There's people just walking out with these boxes of little cakes and goodies. Because it seems so popular, I think we have to check it out. Oh, they're like big. So what is this, like a biscuit or cake? I think it's like a cake. Oh, they're 20 uh, one uh, ringgit though. This one's only 17 for green beans. But I kind of wanted to try this different one. You see that one? Oh, yeah. Thank you. We got our cake. We got our coconut biscuit. biscuit. It's pretty heavy. We got coconut. Ooh. She told us to eat it pretty quick because it goes bad within a couple days, so. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Hmm. It's very mushy. I thought it would be more like flaky crust. Mm. It's very mild. Kind of like sponge cake to me almost, mm. but a little more dense. I don't really like it. <laughs> if you're expecting heavy, strong, American style sweet desserts, this is not here going to be your cup of tea. You've lived in America too long. The more I eat, the more I just want to eat more. It's like a fake Newton, but with coconut inside. The building style that they have on this side of the road, it's not super tall skyscrapers, but it's more of like arrow-ish building blocks. And they say it's supposed to be like the authentic colonial design buildings. So it's really interesting to see King Kent. Oh, buddy. <laughs> So we're going to this restaurant called Kedai Coffee Sen Thor. Oh, it's supposed to be like a brunch place, but especially we're gonna go there to try some oyster omelet, aka fried omelet. And what they do is they fry the omelet with eggs and then with some green onions and they put chili on it. And it's supposed to be a great, super tasty treat in the local area. So we're really excited to try some. This place is kind of interesting. There's different food stalls sitting around the city. I have to order separately from each place. I found you. Watching them make the omelet is so cool. You can see the flame just burning. You can smell charcoal, really. This is like such an experience for the senses. I really love it. It's like a work of art making a oyster <laughs> omelet. Well, it smells really good. Actually added chili and you can like choose to like add more chili or not. I did like just an average amount of chili. So this is an oyster. Yeah. There's like a ton in there. Wow. 
Oh, it's oyster indeed. It's really good. You don't taste the egg much. The oyster kind of like takes over the flavor. It's very oceany. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's the way to go. Sikhan's hometown is known for oysters, so we are a little bit biased. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. Would be a lot stronger. The oyster flavor is dominant and it tastes fresh. It's even better with the sauce. It's better with yeah. the sauce, right? Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, thank you. To wrap up our meal, we tried a bowl of dry wonton mee, a popular dish made with fresh egg noodles topped with greens, wontons, and sliced chashu pork all covered in a sticky sauce made from dark soy sauce. Mm, good, the soy sauce flavor comes through pretty good. Ooh, and the pork's really tasty too. I want to say the texture of the noodle is kind of special. You can tell, like, I think how he prepared it was that he boiled it in hot water and then he put it back in the cold water to add the texture of the noodles. Gentleman was sitting next to us and explaining to us some about the wonton mee. We learned we're saying kanangong, and also we learned that the oyster omelet we had the texture is supposed to be a little more moist than what we had. That was a really good experience. He gave us some really good tips and told us what to try. It was great. People here are so nice, and this is so tasty. I feel like I ate like four meals in the last four hours, um, but I feel good. Like we had a good walk yes. and we also like explored the part of the town that we wanted to see. And the day got better too, it stopped raining. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's been going pretty good so day. far. I feel like you could take days to explore here and right. you never run out of things to see. Right. After a fun morning and a tasty intro to Penang, we decided to make our way back to our hotel. But then, Something caught her eye. Look at the story behind us right now. Oh, do you and baby You want to go get some? Let's get some. <laughs> Let's go get some. This durian gelato. And discount 50%. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Mm. Oh, as you take the bite, the flavor and the smell just hit you strong. But it's really good because it's very fruity and very... It has a distinct durian flavor. Mm. Mm. It tastes good. Uh -huh. They somehow got the flavor to match. I think Singh has more benefit than durian than I am, so he'll probably get more. <laughs> as you take a giant scoop, Eating half the ice cream. <laughs> now we were truly ready to head home. Stay tuned for next episode where we'll continue exploring the streets of Penang. Thanks for watching. So we're at the roadside. No way. <laughs> Penang. So this way? And then like we can film the half of that thing. Okay. So now we're trying to find some find some sass and coffee. <laughs> mm. 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 Just made a new frame. Oh.